Hey everybody, Jamie here from the Enigmatic Nomadics uh, YouTube channel. What is happening? We are down here in uh, Mulahe, Baja, BCS, uh, Mexico, with an update on the engine, an update on life in general. I've been affectionately calling this spot the island, and you can see how beautiful it is. We have this whole spot to ourselves all day, every day town the gas station is a 2.7 miles away and town is 5.5 miles away we have limited access to groceries and resources because it's a small village and it doesn't carry the kind of things that we're used to in the united states but we have been having an absolute blast we are ready to wrap up and head back we've just got a couple of little loose ends to handle i got to pick up the dirt bike as it turns out the whole time we were here i didn't have access to the dirt bike because we were waiting on parts but that's okay we've had the uh, street bike and it's been doing its job what happened with the bus last couple of videos i showed in the vlog uh, videos i showed we were driving moving from el requison coming north and the serpentine belt came off the fan belt came off and what caused it to come off was an idler pulley failed the bearings in it just gave out and the rest of it was uh was history so i took the the serpentine belt and the idler idler pulley into town i was able to match the serpentine belt at the auto parts store in town and the pulley I took to my mechanic working on the motorcycle, he said that he could uh, take care of it. He ended up, instead of going to International for a replacement pulley, putting a couple of races in with a snap ring and uh, the same grade eight bolt uh, type bolt that was in it. I asked him if that was a temporary fix and should I get something better when we get back to the States and have access, uh, direct access to International. He said, no, that's a permanent fix. And so we're on the road. I, I uh, installed the parts. It took a little while to figure out how to do the, the tensioner right to get it in the right position to get the belt on all the way. But we figured it out. We got a lot of time on our hands out here. We were able to figure it out. And I got the, uh, I want to call it the barometric pressure sensor uh, installed. And it was behind the dashboard on this rig. And I'd look up where it's located and there's no real location for it. Everyone would say it's right there on the steering column. It's right there behind the data plug. And maybe in the, the vehicles they were talking about it was. And this one, you know, it's a school bus. It's a 3600 Thomas Vista. It's right behind a little fuse panel in the main dashboard area. And so the way I found it is I just had to look everywhere and memorize the shape of the of the relay because it doesn't look like a regular relay switch it's got one end that's round and that's what saved me i got in there with a little pin flashlight and i'm like that's it so i dug out that, out all the uh, zip ties cut them all off got it out and got it switched out so we've got that on the only thing left is the uh the turbocharger i just lost my train of thought because there's a boat coming in i'll show you there's no car here but there's a boat coming in isn't that interesting anyway with that said I've been uh, calling this place the island here and it's been nice we've got internet uh, towers that give us some internet I got a dish from a guy named Isaac that's kind of a one-off thing he doesn't really sell them and it's been pleasant, but we're ready to get back to some first world comfort, some of the things that we're used to, some of the foods we're used to. So we're eager to get on and, and uh, have some change. And I think that that's why we travel. That's why we live this way is because we like to do something for a while. At least speaking for myself, I like to be someplace for a while, get what I think are all of the fresh experiences I can out of it. And then once I see a lot of repetition, move on to the next thing, move on to the next place for more of those fresh new experiences. And so that's what's on the horizon for us. Just wanted to check in with you guys and uh, let you know everything was okay. And thank you so much for all your comments and trying to help me with it. I've got right now some headphones that I'm about to review. I think you're really gonna like. Uh, that's gonna come up in the next video. I've been listening to them over the next last couple of days, uh, just uh, voice, podcasts, and music, and they sound out of this world. They've got some kind of special algorithm that they just started doing with Bluetooth. 
But I'll talk about that in the next video. With that, I'll let you guys get back to it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next upload. See ya. Thank you.